So if you're architect or most probably you're a SketchUp user and this is like the first time you're trying to move your file from SketchUp to Twinmotion, this is a very easy way for you to get it across. Uh, first things which we're going to do is just make sure that our model is ready and we can go ahead and attach as much textures as we want to have. And one thing to note is the way uh, Twinmotion is built up is you can attach textures to given object that has related textures and also you can still attach textures to individual objects as well so for example if we go ahead and simply select uh, this part of our model and we press B on our keyboard and choose to find a given color so let's just go over to where we have materials go to color and I pick the color red and I attach that color red to our object if I come over to this part and then I choose to select this part and attach a different color to it, if we move into twin motion, it simply means that whatever object that has uh, similar colors with this one, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that here, would have exactly the same textures when we decide to replace our textures. Okay, and for uh, something like this that has a different color, we can also give exactly the same texture which we have here, here, or we can just simply replace the texture and it is going to just happen here and this will become totally different. So now we've finished uh, prepping our object here in SketchUp. How we can simply import this is pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Save, and Save our project out. With Twinmotion open, how you can import this is by simply coming over to this and click on import. We locate where our file is and then we're just going to simply import that file into Twinmotion. During the importing stage, we can choose to keep the materials that ships with our SketchUp or we can simply tell Twinmotion to replace the materials with what it has. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to leave the materials just the way that we brought it in from SketchUp. So I'm going to say use import materials and then I'm going to click on OK. And once that's done, your file would be in the scene and how you can find it is simply by coming to the outliner here and you can simply select this folder that houses up everything that has to do with your SketchUp file and click on your workspace and press F. Let's go over and change our quality appearance to ultra and then let's just simply rotate around our scene to see what we have. For this part I want to change all of these colors or all of these um, materials to a glass. So I'm going to go over and just click on materials, glass, pick a glass that matches and replace it. Let's change the sky a bit so that we can have a much more uh, nicer feel to the time of the day. The next thing which we're going to do is we want to give exactly the same material or maybe play around with the materials which we have here. So how we're going to do this is I'm going to go over and maybe select the concrete and then replace this material here. If I want to replace multiple materials, how I can do that is I can just simply click here and replace all of this material or I can come through and just click on apply to object and select the same material. And once I click here and go down here and select this, it's going to go ahead and replace all of the objects that are, are connected together. So if you want to differentiate uh, what object has a material that you want it to have, go ahead before bringing it into Twinmotion in SketchUp, go ahead and define exactly where you want or what uh, object you want to have a setting color. If this is not done, you might uh, probably have a hard time trying to set these things up in Twinmotion. For setting the node of your object, you can simply come through and go over to nature localization and then we can change or set where the knot of our object is supposed to be and once this is done you also find out that you have a visual guide that is existing on your scene that shows you where uh, in your scene is pointing not you can also go ahead and change the mount 
and that's uh, basically it. So every other thing that happens from here on is you beautifying and landscaping your scene to suit exactly what you want to achieve. If you have questions about how you can prep your model or bring it right into Twinmotion from SketchUp or maybe from any other app, please drop them in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and also don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.